If you want to grow big plants indoors, you need to have a good light to start with. The 2024 Spider Farmer EVO SF1000 light is 100 watts and doing a wonderful job of growing these two cucumber plants. I started out with an 18 inch hanging height at 100% of the capacity. I have dialed that back to 80% because cucumbers require a lesser daily light integral than some other plants. I've picked three cucumbers already and you could tell that uh, there are baby cucumbers that are uh, forming all over the vines. This is a uh, parthenocarpic uh, variety of cucumbers called piccolini or piccolino. The roots are also looking very healthy. I oftentimes say that if you could have healthy roots, you will probably have healthy plants. The grow container is six gallons in size and recirculates. And overall, I've been quite happy for using this in a two by two or three by three foot grow space. The biggest thing that I've noticed is that on Amazon, the PPFD maps seem to differ from the PPFD maps that I received in the book with the light. The PPFD maps that came in the book are probably more accurate because even though it is not as good as using a professional setup, I did measure the light using an app on my phone and it falls more in line with what you're seeing right here. So at 14 inches above the top of the plant canopy, there's a uh, large um, section in about one foot by one foot that is around 700 PPFD and it's surrounded by around 400 to 500 PPFD. And then at the 12 inch hanging height, we're getting up there around uh, 800 PPFD and uh, surrounded by, it looks like anywhere from about uh, 350 clear up to about uh, 550 uh, PPFD on the uh, outermost part of that map. So if you're growing uh, plants that require highlight, I would say that this would be good for a single plant and especially one that is not uh, especially large. So in order to test out the light, one of the things I'm considering is to move to something more light intensive, such as a microdwarf or dwarf variety of tomatoes, or even a variety of flower that uh, is especially known for flourishing under the intensity of summer suns. Currently, I am starting up several seeds and I'm going to throw a lot more underneath this uh, spider farmer light and try to uh, stress it out more with uh, plants that are requiring a lot more light. But if you're looking for advice on growing in a uh, two foot by two foot or three foot by three foot uh, grow space indoors, uh, stay tuned because I'll be happy to share a lot more details as I continue to explore this light. One other tip for growing indoors is also pick out plants that are fairly flat and uh, spread out because uh, the uh, plants that have this low profile tend to be best for LED lights and they do quite well as opposed to something that perhaps would be uh, five foot tall in nature. So my indoor gardening has pressed me to say if you can grow it outdoors can you grow it indoors? 
At the end of this video, I'm going to show some of those PPFD maps, and hopefully you can see what I'm referring to by does the spider farmer light adhere to the Amazon or the OEM book for its PPFD map. 